Welcome to this week's Tip Tuesday. Today, we're gonna to talk about languishing. My name is Scott Patterson. I'm the Statewide Behavioral Health Manager for the Ministry of Office of the Court. And I wanna start this Tip Tuesday by asking you a few questions. Have you found yourself staring at the TV watching the same program on loop? Are you feeling a little meh or off when you feel like you should be feeling more positive? Have you found that you're losing track of where you are throughout the day? Or are you feeling a little less motivated than you feel like you should be? The good news is that if you're experiencing any of these feelings, you're not alone. Over the last 14 months, we've talked a lot about trauma, loss, grief, fear, amongst other things. And honestly, in the early months of the public health emergency, most of us were responding from the limbic region of our brain, or the fight, flight, freeze, and fawn area of our brain that helps us to survive. One of the things we haven't talked a lot about is languishing. And languishing is that middle ground between depression and thriving where a lot of us find ourselves living on a daily basis. Even more good news is that there's power in naming what's happening to us and what we're experiencing. Often in the U.S., we have a knee-jerk response or need to engage in toxic positivity. And toxic positivity, you know, is that deep need to pretend that everything is going okay, even when it's not. Most of us have responded to that, how are you feeling or how are you doing question by saying I'm doing fine or I'm feeling good, regardless of whether that was the truth or not. Being honest about we feel about how we feel, we are actually better equipped to recognize when we're languishing and better equipped to do something about it. One of the best antidotes to languishing appears to be being able to mindfully engage in an activity or essentially to get into what some people are referring to as flow. And flow in this sense is best described as being able to become immersed in a project or an activity to the point where your sense of time, place, or self falls away. Some of us are able to find flow by reading a good book. Some of us are able to find flow by going a little bit farther on our daily walk or our daily walk. And one of the most important tools that we can use to find flow is allowing ourselves to set aside some uninterrupted time each day to do an activity that allows us to find that. This may be the part of a Tip Tuesday video where you laugh at my suggestion that you carve out a little you time. If that's the case, I'm going to ask you to stifle your laughter long enough to hear the challenge I want to give you for this week. So the challenge is for the next seven days, I want to challenge you to pay attention to how you're feeling and to actually name those feelings. I also want to challenge you or encourage you to resist the urge to engage in toxic positivity responses. If you're not feeling 100% great, it's okay and why lie about it? The last thing I wanna challenge you to do this week is to find about 10 or 15 minutes each and every day to set aside as sacred time. Turn off the TV, ignore the text, the email, the social media notifications, and immerse yourself in some activity that truly engages you. And it's even better if this activity is something that challenges you. My guess is that if you're able to do this, by the end of seven days, you'll be feeling not only a little bit better, but you might be feeling a lot better. Thank you for everything you're doing on a daily basis. Please make sure to set aside some time this week to do something that brings you joy. And please feel free to reach out to me to let me know how you're doing with the challenge. And the last thing I wanna say in this Tip Tuesday video is that it's completely okay not to be okay 100% of the time. If you find yourself languishing or feeling like you're languishing, Rest assured that you're not alone and it doesn't have to become a permanent state. I hope you all have a great rest of the week and take some time to do something that brings you happiness or helps you find that flow. Thank you so much.